And now, a special message from Anita Sarkeesian. I actually haven't heard that name in years, but after the Mandalorian drama of a while ago, I uh, I just couldn't resist. Hello, YouTube. Zach and Fiend, Zach and I here, and uh, today I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, I don't know how well you can tell. Oh, you can't even see it, but I'm, I'm dorking around with a bunch of paper mache stuff over there. So um, it only just occurred to me. Uh, I don't think I've ever shown you all on YouTube uh, how I make paper mache. Organs? I mean, you saw my gore props, my knives and all, but I, I've never actually shown how I, uh, how I did this. And it's actually stupidly easy. I'm, I won't be one bit surprised if the FBI kicks open my door to look for this thing. No, it's not that really realistic. It's kind of flat on the bottom, actually, but it, it'll make more sense once I show you how it's done. I actually, uh, was inspired to do this particular technique, um, after... Doing something similar with um, two eyes after that one scene. I, I, it was it was initially inspired after watching uh, Hellraiser two. It's that scene with the clown juggling its eyes. You know, somehow telepathically, I guess he can tell where to toss them, when to catch them, and such. But after making two eyes to do that, just for comedic effect, you mean myself? Um, it, it's it's honestly not that different of a technique. What you do is you take the you take a big old sheet of newspaper. Right? It's usually one at a time. At least that's what the newspaper I use, the system, uh, is one each will make the perfect eye for this anyway. Uh, as opposed to one sheet of printer paper, which will make a more realistic sized eye. But I wanted these to be a little bigger anyway. Anyway, um, You get them wet with water. You let them soak. Like, you want these things to be sopping wet. Wetter than the spitballs that nobody told you to, you know... But you did it anyway. You, you, you were, uh, because you're a dick. You just spat them all in class. No, that, that was never me. I was usually getting hit by them, by my brother of all people. Um, it's fine. I shaved his head. And, uh, what we did, what we did later was, uh, um, uh, I slathered it with glue once it was fully dry. You don't want it to mold, so make sure they're perfectly dry once you do this. Because, um, the next step is to cover it with a little bit of, um, Brown paper, I get mine in a roll. Just packing type paper and tear it up. Slather it with some glue. I personally use Elmer's. And uh, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just show you how it looks before paint, right? Because it actually makes a bit of a huge difference when you see how it looks before versus after the paint. You start to learn that certain textures uh, can be achieved with different paper. This whole thing was more newspaper, but I went over it like a tube with uh, the brown. This is just these little things here, just more of the brown. And I kept them as is, but... You'll notice the arteries are a little, uh, I think they're the arteries. I might be totally wrong, don't quote me. But these things here, the bigger ones, okay, the, uh, the tubes, the tubes, they're actually not that thick. It's hot glue. And what I did was I, uh, slathered it across the rim. I, uh, I, I rimmed it with some hot glue. And you just slather the hot glue itself with a little bit of, uh, red nail polish, which... I've been using for blood ever since uh, I learned this technique. Taught it to myself, more or less. And the rest is all just acrylic paint and Mod Podge. Uh, it's literally that simple, but it just looks so fucking good. If you like, please like. Feel free to share obscure little thoughts in the comments below, as well as to share the video itself. Subscribe if you wish to see more. Don't forget to hit the bell if you do. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. And I love you all. With all my... Ah, that's too easy.